is plasma that is obtained from individuals who have recovered from the COVID-19 virus. This plasma is rich in antibodies, and we hope we can transfer those antibodies to patients who are currently suffering from acute disease caused by the COVID-19 virus and alter the course of their disease. Mayo Clinic is involved in a number of ways. First, uh, we were an early member of an academic coalition that started three or four weeks ago, led by my colleague Arturo Casavidal at Johns Hopkins, who first raised this issue in the Wall Street Journal in late February. Key other coalition partners are Washington University in St. Louis, uh, Michigan State University, Mount Sinai in New York, and also Einstein in New York. And this has morphed into a collaboration with the U.S. Food and Drug Administration to develop a really an expanded access program that will coordinate uh, the collection and distribution of this product across the country and permit us to uh, perform scientific studies on it in real time so we understand how best to use this product moving forward. A classic clinical trial would be to find a group of patients and offer one half the treatment and one half a placebo or, or a, a control arm, some other standard therapy. Uh, this would be ideal if this disease were slower moving and not so life-threatening to people that were in the hospital. So what we hope to do is to um, use this product in a variety of patients in the hospital setting, ranging from people that are at risk for developing se severe illness to those who are already in the ICU, and then begin to understand how this impacts their outcomes. Of course, we'll have many potential uh, control uh, subjects or control patients because unfortunately it's going to be a while till there are vast quantities of this product and it's very very important for the general public to understand that this is not like a drug where we can just increase the number of shifts and ramp up the production line at the drug company this is a biological product that has to be obtained from a specific set of, of patients who've recovered from COVID-19 who meet rigorous criteria and go through a process to obtain this material and then it has to be distributed. So it's very complicated. We believe that there will be a trickle of product next week and we hope that that will grow into a river in the coming weeks, but the logistics around this are gonna be very, very challenging and it's super important for the general public to understand uh, these limitations.